The AD-9 conspiracy entangled the ADDC's director, Keto, the same man who had unveiled it to the world. An unfinished drug that exacted human sacrifice. Yagami believed he had finally found definitive proof. But even that was swallowed by the darkness. All for the greater good of a drug that would save humanity. Look worse than I was expecting. I hear Kuroiwa paid you a visit. Yep. Just him and that baton he's got. Beat the shit out of us. He took Kido too. How'd things go with your stuff? We found Shono's lab, but the police are basically refusing to investigate it. Why? Chief Prosecutor Morita's defending 89. You for real? Whatever evidence was there is probably long gone by now. Yagami-san. Right. There's something else I need to tell you, too. What is it? This have something to do with Sugiura? Yeah, um... That's not actually his name. Huh? So you were Emi Terasawa's little brother, huh? Why'd you keep it a secret? At first, I wanted to make Yagami-san remember. Remember what? How he let my sister suffer. In my eyes, he was a scumbag who let a murderer walk. The murderer who then burned Emi to death. Damn, that's heavy. Go on. You don't have to hold back. Back then? I was just a shut-in fuck-up. My life was in shambles. Emmy was still there for me, though. When nobody else was. And then... Somebody murdered her. Someone as nice as Emmy. Dead. For no reason. But the world doesn't stop for that shit. Turning, and people go about their business. Over time, I started to hate what our whole society stood for. So, I'm guessing that's what led you to start that burglary ring? Pretty much. At the very least, I didn't want to keep living my life for other people. You know, when Emmy died, Yagami-san didn't apologize. Not to me, or to my parents. So that's when you guys first met, huh? Yup. We looked totally different back then, though. Had glasses and long hair, so couldn't really see my face. That's why I didn't recognize you. Defending a murderer? You're just as guilty as he is. Those words cut deeper than you probably could have imagined. Even so, Okubo insisted he didn't do it. Since I was his lawyer, couldn't apologize. That would essentially be admitting he was guilty. What about after the trial? I didn't apologize then, either. Instead, I ran away. Put it all behind me. Right. You didn't just walk away. You practically got disbarred. At least Okubo was getting the death penalty. It didn't feel good, but... I settled for that. Then why'd you start hanging around talk again? Because he found his way back to the courtroom to deal with all this mole business. He even got a Yakuza captain off the hook. It's not like I suddenly just became a lawyer again. It sure seemed that way from my perspective. 
So, I wanted to see where your head was at. Find out if you'd forgotten what you did to Emmy. If you were gonna pretend like nothing happened, I'd make you remember. And I'd make you pay for it. And that's why you approached me. Yup. I wanted to know what Okubo was up to, too. Find out if he was as afraid of death as he should have been. If anyone was gonna go see him, it was you. But now, it's looking more and more likely Okubo was framed. And I never would have known if I hadn't teamed up with you. Ironic, huh? Three years later, the real killer's finally clear. And now it turns out... Shono... He's the one leading the charge to cure Alzheimer's! He gets to go down in history as a hero? For what? Stabbing my sister to death? Burning her body? Don't worry. Everyone will see him for who he really is once the truth gets out. You weren't there today. The whole fucking system is protecting him. He meant the truth. Suppressed evidence right in front of me. What's the point of fighting that kind of battle, huh? It's bullshit! You saw it too, right, Yagami-san? Right? Look, Sugira, ever since Emi-chan died, I've been running away from the truth. I was worried. Worried I wasn't gonna like what I found, that maybe I was responsible for her death. It was killing me. I couldn't bring myself to face it all. Talk. If you ask me, everyone has something they're trying to hide from themselves. But sometimes facing your fears is the only way forward. The real reason you came to me is because deep down, you wanted to know the truth. That sound about right? still true, we have our work cut out for us. We're gonna chase the truth as far as we can, even if it's in vain. Yeah, but all our paths are blocked. Who the hell cares? We'll blaze our own path then. Right, Tuck? <laughs> yeah. You guys are out of your goddamn minds. It's Mafuyu. What's up, Mafuyu? I need to speak with you about Morita. Wait, you're still here in town? Yes. I'm waiting at Tender. Do you think you could come meet me here? I... I think I'm being followed. What? It felt like someone was watching me all the way to the bar. I don't believe I'm imagining it. More of those bums the Ministry of Health hired? Or maybe one of the Chief Prosecutor's men. All right, I'll be right over. Thank you. I'm coming with. Igashi, keep an eye on Sugiura while we're gone. Huh? Why do... <sighs> Fine. Let's roll, talk.
guys. Thanks for coming. How did it look outside? Did you see anyone suspicious? Not particularly. Seemed fine to me. Mind if I sit? What happened to your face? What? This? It's nothing. You said you wanted to talk to me about Morita? Yes. Specifically about how he acted tonight. It's hard to imagine the Morita I know doing that. It's almost like he's a different person. Almost like he cared more about politics than the law. Not surprising. He's right in the middle of this 89 mess. <sighs> Thing is, Morita is the reason I decided to become a prosecutor. When my mother was killed in a hit and run, he was there to give me courage, show me a way forward. I've heard. That said, as for why he has an interest in protecting 89, I might have an idea. Hmm? About ten years ago, something happened to his family. Perhaps that's what changed him. Made him look the other way on this. What happened? Uh, hold on. I'm not entirely sure my theory is correct. It wouldn't be fair if I misrepresented the facts. However, I just spoke to a former police detective who handled that case. I'm about to get the case file from him. Where? We're meeting at the children's park. But it felt like I was being followed, so I didn't want to go alone. So, that's our job here? We're your bodyguards? Yes. At least, that was the plan. But seeing what already happened to you... You think a couple of scratches are gonna slow me down? We'll do it. Right, Doc? If you let us see the case file, what do you say to that? Of course. It's a deal, then. We'll be your escorts. Oof, that's cold. Extorting the poor girl? Guess chivalry's dead, Mafia-chan. Are you ready? Yeah, let's do it. Thank you. Well, do you see anyone? Not yet. There. Guess you were right on the money, Mafia Chan. Looks like they want to fight, too. Yep. Those aren't let's chat over some coffee faces. So what? Are they gonna follow us the whole way like that? What should we do? You back off a bit. We'll take care of him. Let's go, Kaito-san. You got this! Ma for you! Not happy! Yagami-kun! Keep going! Hell yeah! What? No love for me, Mafia-chan? Hang in there too, Kaito-san! Now we're talking! Alright! Mafia-chan's watching! 
So let's not screw this up! Get
Is the place. He should already be here. You said he's an ex-detective, right? Yes. Let's roll, Tom. Uzawa-san, yes? Yep. That's me. Huh? 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 You're the detective from before. Oh shit, Yagami. You used to be on the force? How'd you end up so scruffy? I gotta ask you the same thing. Y you two know each other? Why'd you bring these chowderheads along? Uh, well, uh, Yagami-kun, he's... He's sort of my boyfriend. What? Since when? It's not like that. Then why are you blushing? It's comedy hour over here. So, what do we have in the case? Ten years ago, Chief Prosecutor Morita's older brother strangled their mom to death. But why? A caretaker murder. Their mother was over 70 at the time, afflicted with a severe case of Alzheimer's. And they were taking care of her. Yeah. It's hard to say what a dementia patient will do if you take your eye off him, even for a second. She apparently used to leave the stove on after she cooked, or wander out in the middle of the night. None of the homes had any openings for her either. Ultimately, Morita's brother took care of their mom by himself. Seems he put the burden entirely on his own back. He quit his job and moved in with their mother. All to ensure Morita was free to do his duty as chief prosecutor. He barely took breaks, barely slept, for seven whole years before the incident. All he got from his mother in return was abuse. Verbal, and sometimes physical. The hell'd she do that for? It's a side effect of dementia, though not all patients exhibit it. Some cases can be suppressed, but it doesn't always work out. At the time of the incident, Morita's brother was in the midst of a serious mental breakdown. I had to guess, he'd probably been about to break for months. And the result is him murdering his own mother. Whatever became of him after all that? Ah, uh, well, not long afterward, he tried to hang himself and failed. So they suspended his sentence until he was more stable. And where is he now? It says here he died a year later. By his own hand. Dude. After everything his brother did, Morita was removed from the spotlight for a while. But it seems that's all in the past now. Everyone recognizes him as an unquestionable leader on the Force. So then... Morita blames Alzheimer's for all the suffering his family faced. Most likely, yes. 
The tragedy could have been prevented if only 89 had existed at the time. And once it does, who knows how many situations just like it could be avoided. With a tragedy like that, no wonder he's defending it. He's sure as hell not in it for the cash. Not for reputation, either. The guy's just doing what he thinks needs to be done. I suppose I can understand that. Huh? You can? Huh? You think that excuses everything that monster has done? He framed Ayabe, turned a blind eye to Emi-chan's murder, left Okubo-kun out in the cold. All because this fucking drug needs to get fast-tracked? How can you begin to think that's right? How? If Morita can decide what needs to be done, then so can we. I'm gonna protect every last person they've trampled. I'm gonna get revenge for Emi-chan. Interesting. <laughs> what is? Oh, <laughs> it's just uh, really obvious you used to be a lawyer. Used to? I've still got my badge. <laughs> yeah, that's right. Hey, lay off the gambling, yeah? You lose more than you win. Yeah, whatever you say. Yagami-kun, I think it'd be best if you hold on to these files. Yo, talk. Make sure she gets home safe, would you? Hey, since we're close, do you mind if we drop in on salary? Oh, sure. What's up? Oh, no reason. She just likes seeing the two of us together. Oh, uh, what now? Uh, whatever. I was gonna go fill her in on what happened tonight anyway. Why? Kido never would have ended up in Kamurocho if not for Saori. And her honey trap. A honey trap? You can't be serious. I, um... Uh, Yagami-san, I didn't realize you'd be stopping by. Awfully suspicious. Just what were you two up to in here? Um, not much. Guess we should go then. Hey, how did everything go with Kido? Hold on, I want to know what you two were up to first. Well, Hoshino-kun was just... Okay, 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 this is all just a big misunderstanding. Or maybe not. Or maybe it is. Maybe you'll get further next time. Is it just me, or is Sari-san enjoying this? Oh, yeah. I've heard. It's horrible what happened to Morita's mother. So the prosecution is all working to protect AD-9? The chief prosecutor is, at the very least. This is all my fault. I'm the one who told Morita that Yagami-kun would be there. If I had only gone to Izumita instead... Don't think like that. There's no knowing who's on what side. We can't trust anyone except ourselves. But... Um, can I say something real quick? I'm not sure I'm the best person to be defending Ayabe. Not against an enemy this powerful. Well, what do you mean? Agreed. Hoshino-kun can't handle the pressure. It has to be you, Yagami-san. Oh, ha ha. Real funny. This isn't a joke. We're dead serious. Please, Yagami-san. We're going up against the people who murdered Emi-san. Do it for her. For Okubo-san. And for Shintani-sensei. 
It's time for you to show the world what you think is right. No more running. <sighs> yeah, I guess so. I'll let Genda Sensei and Ayabe san know right away. This is bound to make headlines. I can see it now. Disgraced lawyer Yagami Sensei makes his triumphant courtroom return. All right, do we really need the disgraced part? But, all right. If they both agree, I'll defend Ayabe. <laughs> Guess I'll need to start digging up some more evidence. Shall we? Thank you for helping me tonight, Yagami-kun. Huh? Uh, one second. It's Izumita. Now that I think about it, he left a message earlier, too. Did you listen to it? Yes. He said he wanted to talk. It sounds like he's at Majore. Majore, huh? Guess he wanted coffee instead of booze. What should we do? You don't have to do anything. Go home where you're safe. Izumita might be on their side, too. But... I'll go instead. You? Really? I'll be fine. All right. Stay safe out there. Must we? Stay down. Yagami, what are you doing here? Did you come alone? <sighs> yeah. Good. I sent Mafia you home. I could go for a chat and a coffee, though. Sorry, not interested. What did you have to tell Mafuyu? 
It has nothing to do with you. Oh, then how about I guess? Huh? The reason you wanted to talk to her was... You were gonna tell her to join forces with Morita. What? Am I wrong? I see what you're getting at. What happened with the Chief Prosecutor and that Ministry of Health bureaucrat? It wasn't normal. Not normal? That's a bit of an understatement. They want to protect 89 so bad, they ignored evidence of a murder under their noses. You're working with them too, aren't you? What are you implying? Chief Prosecutor Morita is part of a conspiracy to push 89 through, no matter the cost. Do you have proof of that? This. I got it from Mafuyu. It's a case file detailing a domestic murder within Morita's family. Sound familiar? This is the first time hearing of it. I'll give it to you, if you have the strength to fight. Excuse me? What happens if you find out I'm telling the truth? How far will you go, Izumira? Would you be willing to bring your own boss to justice? Of course. Ask a hundred prosecutors and they'd answer the same way. <laughs> Maybe you're not as bad as I thought. This incident is what gave Morita motivation to support 89. That's how I see it, at least. This is tragic. Yeah. His sick mom strangled to death by his own brother. <sighs> Morita's doing what he thinks is right in all this. That's why he suppressed evidence earlier. Back at Shono's lab, I mean. <sighs> the mole killed countless people there. It's only natural there'd be traces left behind. Our case would be practically bulletproof if we found them. It's just, I... I can't believe he would do this. The way he acted at the lab, we have to believe he's wrapped up in this. Wouldn't you agree? Mm. Izumira! I... I guess I can't deny that. Right? But if he really is trying to protect 89... How do we stop him? What can we even do? Well, I was planning to use Aibe's trial to bring all the dark truths about 89 out into the light. That's why I chased Hamura down. Why I needed to find Shono's lab. But, Ichinose and Morita crushed those leads before they really even took off. And you don't have the ammo to stop them. <sighs> it hurts to hear the truth laid out like that. But, it is a relief knowing you're not on their side, believe it or not. <laughs> Not sure this is the time to be relieved. Yeah, I know. Hey. Hmm? I was wondering. You think we could get Ichinose to testify? Get him called to the stand? Under what pretense? I don't know. Maybe to explain 89? It could be anything, really. He can't say no if the prosecution requests him, right? Then... What do we do once we have him there? We corner him eloquently. Shower him with questions until he gives up. Me and you both. Oh, wait, that's your big plan? Hey, desperate times call for desperate measures. We don't have a chance of winning if we're not willing to take some risks. Okay, I'm in. I'll let you know once I've made the arrangements. day.
So basically, it's up to Izumira whether or not Ichinose shows at the trial. The question now is, how do we press Ichinose once he's there? Before we get too far, Genda-sensei and Ayabe are both on board with Yagami-san representing the defense. The lousiest lawyer ever, back in the court. <laughs> Looks like it. Now, let's talk about our next steps. First on the agenda, though. <laughs> what do we call Sugiura now? That's your next step? It was, uh, Terasawa, yeah? I'm fine with Sugiura. Why change it up now? Fair enough. Um, speaking of next steps, I'd like to try putting some pressure on Kido again. Maybe we could use the video Sari-san helped us get to force him into testifying for us. Good plan. Anyone else? This doesn't have anything to do with the case, but some shit's going down in the Matsugane family. We can talk about it right after this, Yagami. Roger that. What's up? Just so you know, I'm gonna go talk to Okubo soon. He still thinks Emi-chan's family hates him for what happened. I need him to know that's not true. If that's okay with you. Sure, I'm fine with it. <laughs>